All right. There have been a lot of surreal things that have happened since I started this YouTube channel. This is definitely one of them. Hey guys, welcome back to Baby Back Maniac. I have got an interesting video for you guys today. We are at the, I'm standing next to the sign, so I'll remember, the HPB Expo, which is a huge barbecue expo that's in Dallas this year. I've got a few buddies with me. Check this out. Say hi, tell them who you are. Hey everybody, Mike with Everyday Barbecue. And you guys know this guy? He needs no one T-Roy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go see what they got in there and we're gonna take you along with us. I hope we, uh, hope you come along. That was dumb. I'm still going with it. <laughs> So the HPB Expo, if you didn't know what it is, I don't blame you, I didn't either until my cousin told me about it. He's a vendor there, love you. Andrew, thank you for letting me know. But it's a huge trade show for the outdoor living community. And it's, I think it's once a year this year, it happened to be in Dallas. And so I was like, man, I gotta go to that. So I invited Troy, he can make it. I didn't know this, but Ballistic Barbecue, Greg Mervich had already been making plans to come, so he, he came down, he brought Chris with Get Out and Grill. Mike obviously drove down from Chicago, and I mean, already just being able to meet some of these guys face to face, some of my best friends I've made from YouTube all in one place, it was great, it was fantastic. But there were so many other things to do there, it was amazing, so many brands were represented in this world of barbecue. Okay, spoiler alert, I ended up coming home with a beefer, as you can see there. I'm not gonna cook on it today because I'm, I'm waiting on a regulator which is getting shipped out today, but I, I didn't wanna sit on this footage. I wanted to tell you the story because it's kind of fun. Um, so Mike and I are walking around this expo and we end up at the beefer tent, probably because they were giving away free steaks, to be honest with you. I mean, we both tried the steak, decided we really, really liked it. Mike, uh, Troy and Chris and, and Greg are kind of doing their own thing. And, and Mike and I kind of work our way over to the side of this tent and they have a poster up of Bo Jackson. And Mike, who is a fan, he, he looks at that and goes, that poster and goes, that right there is one of the greatest athletes of all time. Um, or in the United States, something like that. And then we look over and the actual Bo Jackson is like like six feet from it. I, we were just kind of flabbergasted. It was really cool to get to meet him. So Mike, you know, very smooth, thinking on his feet. He asked for a picture and Bo very politely declined. He said, and we, we totally understood where he was coming from. He wasn't signing autographs and he wasn't taking pictures because the moment he starts that, then his booth would just become a photo booth and he wouldn't be able to talk about what he was doing there and things like that. We told, it was totally reasonable, totally acceptable. We gave him knuckles and walked off. And if it had stopped right there, it would have been just awesome. You know, um, it, was, it was already the coolest thing ever to be able to say, hey, I met Bo Jackson and he gave us knuckles and he gave us a piece of steak and it was, it was cool. But uh, about, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes later, we are talking to the uh, <laughs> the artist formerly known as Big Green Craig. His name's Craig Tabor. Uh, check him out on Instagram and Twitter. He's kind of a big deal over there. Nice guy, really nice guy. But he uh, introduces us to who happens the guys who happen to be the the owners and manager of Beefer, uh, the company. And we, we were like, hey, we were just at your tent. The steak was great. Bo Jackson was cool. We gave him knuckles. You know, he didn't do pictures, but we, we totally understood. And he's like. The guy's like, you want to meet Bo Jackson? You want to interview Bo Jackson? And I was like, yeah. 
<laughs> and so the next thing I know, I'm interviewing Bo Jackson. All right, guys, I'm here at the Expo, and you might think it's just a bunch of fat guys from Texas, but we have one of the top athletes, world-class with us, Mr. Bo Jackson. What are you doing here today, Mr. Jackson? Justin, I am here today with my uh, Bo Jackson's 34 Beef line yeah. and my new steak sear machine called the uh, Bo Jackson Beef. The beef? It's the beef, which is, this is a German-made device, all stainless steel, runs off of natural gas or propane, and it's instantly 1,500 degrees, and it can cook a steak, depending on the size, in less than five and a half minutes. Five and a half minutes? Restaurant-grade steak in five and a half minutes. So do you, do you flip it over? I mean, You like have to flip it because it's heated from the top. Okay. It's heated from the top, infrared, and it's just outstanding. All right, it looks nice. It looks nice. Well, do you know what the price is on it? The price on the, the price on the small one, which is used for recreation area, camping, tailgating, number one, tailgating, number one. This is $8.99, and I, we have a restaurant version, which is almost three times this size and it's and it's for $2,200. Okay, okay. And then you have your own line of beef? I have my own line of beef. I, it's called um, um, Bo Jackson's 34 Beef. Okay. And it is uh, black Angus, grass-fed Angus out of the Midwest. And um, it's produced by Revere out of Minnesota. Okay. Revere Beef. We don't have retail in, in, in uh, Texas yet. We are just kicking off our beef line. Okay. We are just kick, kicking off our beef line, and what a greater place to show it than here Absolutely. in Dallas. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Mr. Jackson. I really appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jesse. So I got to be honest. At this point, I didn't know much about the beef except what. Bo Jackson had just told me and I knew that 20 minutes earlier I had had a freaking fantastic steak and that was about it. The next day the guys from Beefer graciously agreed to meet with me and answer a lot of questions we had. Thanks to Troy for holding the second camera and I think you guys are going to enjoy this. Alright guys, T-Roy and, and I are still here at the Barbecue Expo and we are talking with the guys at the Beefer booth. And Beefer booth? Beefer booth. And they're going to give us a little explanation of their product. It's really cool y'all. So I'm Frank Hecker from Germany and I'm the one who had the idea of the beefer and uh, was together with my wife in the Peter Luger Steakhouse in Brooklyn and we had the best steak of, my, of our life and we went back to Germany and thought how can we do that and, uh, at home and this as the result this is the beefer. Yeah. Um, it works with 1500 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, it's a top heat burner it's a ceramic burner powered by propane gas and um, so uh, you have the steak done in about one minute each side you have the crust done and then you have to let it rest on top of the beefer and after about 10 minutes you have the core temperature you like so it's medium rare and then you put it back into the beefer just do for 15 seconds or something each side and then it's it's done and then you have the perfect steak. One of the first questions I asked was how does this compare to a typical barbecue grill? The, the heat comes from the top that's a, a, a great advantage because all the juices which drip down you can gather in a, in a, in a pan and uh, you can use it for sauce or a dip or something and um, you don't have flames underneath your um, underneath your meat and a typical barbecue grill you, you the, the, the juices drip down into the flames and, and then you have the burning underneath and that's doesn't taste well mm -hmm. and burns the meat and okay. that's not what we want. So I asked Matthias who's over all of Beefer USA if there's any other advantages to the Beefer? Um, the Beefer is a perfect um, grill for America, especially for tailgating, for ta camping, etc. Uh, our device is like 30 pounds weight and um, you know we can run it even on a one pound bottle of propane and um, you can put it in a bag, we have a tailgate bag, accessories fit in there. And basically you can take it anywhere and cook with 1500 degrees. It gets hot in five minutes, you have the cooking temperature. Um, cooking on it three hours on the small bottle and uh, as Frank already did, uh, explained um, you collect meat juices create full-on dishes in the uh, beef as you do in uh, 
uh, no other grill like that. So speaking of other dishes, I'm curious what else you can cook on the beef. So we started with the steak and that was the plan to make the perfect steak. And then we figured out that there are many, many different possibilities and, and uh, many, uh, it's a huge variety uh, of food you can uh, uh, cook in the beefer. And uh, this is one of my favorite recipes. This is just salmon. Um, it's just marinated in a, in a thin teriyaki marinade for about 15 minutes. And then you put it in the beefer uh, for 15 seconds and you have a crust like this. So that's, that's, that's amazing. And uh, you just serve it with uh, avocado or whatever, a little, salt, a little bit of salt and, and lemon, and that's perfect. So it's, it's, it's completely easy. And we have a huge variety um, of, of different food. With the high temperature, you, you just you are not uh, only able to do perfect steak, but uh, you can do fish, you can do uh, seafood, you can do tuna, you can caramelize, you can create, do creme brulee, you can just caramelize. Um, pineapple if, if you like it's, it's, it's great at this point I asked them if they wouldn't mind going through and explain the differences of all their different models of beefer starting with the beefer XL this is a one burner regulates uh, one one um, valve. valve regulates both burners and you have a different mechanic uh, mechanism to move um, the proteins up and down towards the flame everything is a little bit bigger um, it's for outdoor use uh, when you have an outdoor kitchen and you want to have something solid standing and not portable. This will be the version. And then we have the Beefer Exo Chef, which allows you to regulate both burners uh, separately. Um, same design as the XL, same functionality with the lever. Uh, you have a drawer for accessories. Um, but this boy, uh, bad boy is a really a Salamander on steroids. It has a restaurant certification, indoor certification, runs also on propane, or you can get a conversion kit for natural, uh, for natural gas. And um, it really fits in any kitchen. And Frank can explain what great chefs in Germany are already using it uh, in their high-end kitchen. So as luckily I'm uh, in Germany, in real life, I'm not a grill manufacturer, but I'm, I'm a grill manufacturer for sure. But in, in real life, I'm a TV director and I do the cook shows in Germany. So I know many of the famous chefs in Germany and uh, that helps us a lot. And because we can ask them what they want, uh, how, they, how we can uh, uh, improve things at the beefer. And, and we learned a lot about cooking with, with that high temperature. And we have a couple of uh, three-star Michelin star uh, chefs in Germany and about, I think, it's, it's about 50, 60 to 70 restaurants already using the beefer. And, um, if wow, so this is a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. The only really five star, uh, five three-star Michelin chefs, and I think four of them are using the beefer, and the fifth one is on its way. So uh, they really appreciate it. And the three-star Michelin chef, that's already somebody who knows his cooking and uh, has his skills down and they love the beefer it's really something it's yeah. really cool so what do we have over here like these little ones mm -hmm. the little beefers yeah th <laughs> this is uh, the first beefer the the, the beefer we developed first um, it, it works just with with one uh, burner we have one valve behind the beer can <laughs> and you can regulate it uh, like the, the, the large ones um, you don't have a stepless height adjustment as with the, with the, with the, big, with the large beefers but you have those slots so you can adjust the height um, um, using the slots because it's important to, to get the, the, the meat or the, or, or the fish or whatever you put in there as high as possible so you, you, you have the advantage of the high temperature um, if you if you have something that is maybe like like a, a, a fish uh, that that with the skin you can put it a little bit lower so you, you can adjust the temperature by adjusting the height but for meat for tuna for for salmon without skin always put it as high as possible so you use the heat and then we have the slot here it's uh, for the pizza stone yeah we can we can use the pizza stone the smaller version of the pizza stone is it's down here and um, we have a shelf to, to handle it and <coughs> and we have an uh, additional uh, burger, uh, burger tray so you can form the patty with this, put it here, put it in and uh, it works perfectly for, for, for burgers as well. So um, and then 
we have this beautiful thing. This is uh, the Porsche Beefer and it's a cooperation with Porsche. Porsche came to us and said, well, we have the hottest car in the world. You have the hottest grill in the world. Let's do something together. And, uh, and they designed us this machine and we had to struggle how to get the technology inside so that it works the same as the small beaver we have, we already have. And it's, it's, they, they put a couple of very good features in it. Um, it's, it's, uh, you have this utility box here, you can put all the accessory inside and you, it's, it's really easy to clean. You can just take the, the carrier out and then you can open this, just put it in the dishwasher and it's done. Um, so it's, it's a little bit more comfortable than this one, but this has uh, cleaning features as well. You can just get those spots out and then put it in the dishwasher or clean it in the rinse or whatever. So it's, 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 it's really easy to clean. And one thing is that the Americans uh, <laughs> never ask how to clean. The Germans <laughs> ask you how to clean it before they know what the machine can do. So <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, the, the Americans realize uh, the, the temperature very more fast or faster than the Germans did because you have those restaurants here and the states who, who work with the, those temperatures. Not every restaurant but you have those steakhouses here in the states and they work with the temperature so the Americans realize it much faster than the Germans do, um, unless it's a, it's a real success in Germany, meanwhile, but we have to explain it, how you can use it. And it's a perfect addition to your, to, to your kitchen and to, to every smoker. grill and to the smoker. You do a lot of smoking and sous vide is becoming very popular, so this is a great thing. You do your sous vide, the water bath, you have your steaks in there and it literally takes like 30 seconds each side to do your perfect steak and a pork belly. Um, you watch the skin popping and getting crisp. It's, it's phenomenal. It looks Even like smoking. It, was, it looks like it was made for sous vide. For I mean, sous vide, yes. Great yeah, perfect yeah, marriage. Absolutely. And also when you do chicken wings, it's, that's my favorite. You have a smoked chicken wing uh, or chicken leg that you put in the smoker for hours. And then you take it out and you finish it up on the beefer for 10 seconds. All of a sudden you have a smoked chicken wing with uh, crispy skin, which you normally don't get. You have right. to fry it. So it's, it's really, really cool. And how much do each of these Models cost so $8.99 is our beefer um, the entry level it comes with two grilling grates it comes with two dripping pans and the handle and a glove so you're ready to go and the hose you just plug it in plug it plug and go um, everybody who loves the Porsche beefer I have to disappoint you it's only available in Stuttgart in the Porsche restaurant at the Christophorus so while you're there buy one because it's not available yet in the US yet Oh, darn. Um, the <laughs> next step is the XL. The XL runs um, $15.99 and um, the same it comes with a um, big grate with two small grates, dripping pan, uh, glove and um, hose, plug and play or plug and beef. And uh, <laughs> the XL Chef is $23.99. It even comes with a hood. Um, same accessories and um, that is the whole beaver line and we have a bunch of accessories as uh, Frank showed. We have a hood, we have a tonsil that fits right in the grilling grate to flip your meat so you don't need your meat tongs, the big ones. Um, we have the pizza stone um, So and the tailgate back is coming. Uh, we have a lot of things in the pipeline that will be launching uh, by doing this year. Awesome. And then also we have the partnership with Bo Jackson, which uh, is something new for us where we launched here. And here's his beefer and uh, we had him earlier cooking for us and uh, we're enjoying this partnership uh, with him. The um, Bo Jackson beefer, all beefers are available on our website. Um, also by select retailers in your area. Um, stay tuned because we wrote a bunch of orders, so it's going to be available in plenty of mere source. So for right now though, us.beefer.com? Yes, that's our website, or www.beefer.com. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you, Frank. Thank nice you. Meeting nice meeting you. Nice you. Thank you. Thanks, Troy.
Yeah, man. So once again, thanks to Bo Jackson for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks to the guys at Beaver for your time. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Thanks for the cooker. I look forward to playing around with that. If you guys want to see some cooks on that, please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate that. And go ahead and subscribe because I'll have that and some of the other videos that I took at this conference. I think you're really going to enjoy them. So thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.